Hello, this is Chris Neal from South Plains College. Welcome to my Pro Tools how-to video series. This video is on subgrouping. Part one is on a main subgroup so that all audio in the session flows through one aux input track. And part two is on a complex system of subgrouping where we will subgroup subgroups. So get ready. Again, during the course of the video, you will see my keystrokes displayed at the bottom of the screen. And here is a key to the guide for the symbols that you will see. You can use shift to select tracks in a range. You can use the command to take tracks in and out of a selection or on its own to select non-contiguous tracks, or you can use the option key to select all or deselect all. Okay, in part two, we're gonna learn how to do some complex subgrouping where we will subgroup individual instrument sections and then route those to the main subgroup. Now, there are lots of reasons why you subgroup. It might be for processing, it might be to combine together different instrument sections or instrument sections that perform the same function inside the mix, keys and guitars that perform a pad-like function, lots of different reasons. So for practicality and demonstration, here's how we're going to break up this session. Drums, guitars, vocals, and effects returns. So basically the process is we're going to select all the tracks that we want to subgroup. We're going to hold option shift and select new track from the output create a stereo aux input, name it, and then repeat. So we'll start with the drums. Click on the kick drum, shift click on the drum room, hold down option shift, go to the output and select a new track. We're going to go stereo aux input, name it S drums, and then hit create. And we can see how the output of all those tracks is now S drums and the input of our new aux is S drums. So now we can move on to the guitars and we'll take the bass through the electric guitars. We will hold option shift again and go to the output and say new track. And because these tracks are panned, we want to use a stereo aux input track. So we set that up and name it S guitars. In this scenario, hit create and there's our aux input. I like to put my subs at the end of the subgroup. So we move that and then we can move on to the vocals. Select the lead vocal through the background vocals, option shift new track, stereo aux input. We will name that appropriately S Vox, hit create. And then we're gonna move on to group our effects returns. So we select our effects returns, hold option shift, choose new track and a stereo aux. So I tend to put my effects returns to the right of the main out. And since all signal flows towards the main out, I put my subgroup to the left of those effects returns. Okay, so now we need to subgroup our subgroups. So on the left, we're gonna show the tracks list. So we go show the tracks list. We're gonna go to that mini menu and choose show only aux tracks. Now we can see all of our subgroups, S drums, S guitars, so forth. So we're gonna select all of our subgroups and then use an alternate way. Since our S submaster already exists, we can hold down option shift and go to the output and choose track and then find that S submaster track in that list of tracks. So we don't need to do new track. We are gonna route to the track that already exists. So we're routing these subgroups through that S submaster. Okay, now we'll go back to showing all tracks and we can see the subgroups are routed and everything is flowing through the S submaster. Okay, so next we need to create master faders for all of those buses that we're using for subgrouping. And that way we can monitor for clipping in our mix. So we're going to go back to the tracks list and show only aux tracks. And this just helps us, especially in a large session, to quickly and easily identify how many and what format of master faders we, that we need to create. If you have a good naming scheme, this is a little quicker and easier to do. We're going to create master faders for all the subgroups we just created. Uh, we could have waited and done the effects returns at this time too, but we've already done those, so we just need four stereo because all of those uh, subgroups are stereo master faders so we set that up hit create and now we need to assign those master faders to control the buses that are routing audio to those subgroups
So we need to assign each of these masturbators so that they control those buses. So we will just go either to the bus or the track tab and you can choose S sub drums, bus, S guitars, bus, S fox, and bus, S effects, and then name them. Okay, once we've named them, we will move them to the end or the far right, and then we'll show all tracks again. Now that we have these master faders set up, we can use them to monitor for clipping during mixing. If we see a clipping on the master fader, we can go to the tracks and adjust the gain structure, bring those tracks down so that we're not clipping that bus.